All right, now we're going to begin our study of Hebrews chapter 8. We'll be using the printed outline. But before we go directly into chapter 8, I would like to review very rapidly with you the material on sheet 7 oblique 4 and 7 oblique 5, which is headed points of contrast between the Levitical priesthood and the priesthood of Melchizedek. Uh, this will be a kind of helpful introduction to the comparison that follows in chapter 8, which we'll be studying between the Old Covenant and the New. So very quickly, without pausing for comment, we'll go through the 14 points of contrast between Levitical priesthood and the priesthood of Melchizedek. First of all, Melchizedek's priesthood combines priesthood and kingship. The priesthood under the Old Covenant was allotted to the tribe of Levi, but kingship to Judah and no interchange was permitted. Number two, Melchizedek gave to Abraham bread and wine, emblems of the New Covenant, not previously given by Abraham. But the Levitical priests only gave back to the Israelites part of the sacrifices previously received from them. They had to receive before they could give. Point number three, Melchizedek received tithes from Abraham. The Levitical priests gave tithes through Abraham. Point number four, Melchizedek, because of an indestructible life, had a permanent priesthood which never passed by succession to others. The Levitical priests, because of mortality, had only a temporary priesthood. Number five, Melchizedek does not trace his genealogy from Abraham. The Levitical priests must be descended from Abraham. Number six, Melchizedek blessed Abraham, therefore he is greater. The Levitical priests owe their blessing to Abraham, therefore they are less. Number seven, Melchizedek provided direct access to God and perfection. The Levitical priesthood could not provide direct access or perfection. Number eight, Levitical, uh, the Melchizedek was priest by the power of an indestructible life. The Levitical priests only on the basis of a physical requirement. Number nine, Melchizedek was appointed with God's oath. The Levitical priests were appointed without an oath. Number 10, Melchizedek ensures a superior covenant. The Levitical priests were linked to an inferior covenant. Number 11, Melchizedek and his priesthood provides one all-sufficient priest. But the Levitical peace priests, because of death, had to be many and were never sufficient. Number 12, Melchizedek, through his priesthood in the person of Jesus, is able to save completely and forever. But the Levitical priests are unable to save. Number 13, Me the, Jesus, as the priest after the order of Melchizedek, did not need to offer sacrifice for his own sins. He had none. But the Levitical priests needed to sacrifice first for their own sins. Number 14, Melchizedek's priesthood provides, as a priest, God's perfect son. The Levitical priesthood provides only men with human frailty. Now, with that in mind, we'll go into chapter 8, the main part of which is a comparison between the Old and the New Covenant. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, how about Shem? Yeah, I was shy, Barsham, Rakakwadash, much mercy to you sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that have been redeemed to understand this covenant, to understand God, and to really be a part of this covenant by birth, by you being predestined. Um, so when you understand, like we read on the last... <clears throat> on the last um, sit down we did certain men were perfected in the first century now you have to do your homework on the first century on the 70 
on the 12 after the Lord died. You had to do your homework on all the men that got martyred and they all died on the first century. And there's plenty of information out there. If you search, you will find. But understanding the first century, those men being perfected, they were perfected in the doctrine of the 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 of the Lord in the new covenant under the order of Melchizedek. So they understood the priesthood. That's why Peter, second Peter talks about it. I think in first Peter, it talks about we are royal priesthood, a chosen generation that was perfected in the first century. So now when you go to John 17, we're going to we're going to got a couple things I want to go through uh, this morning. So when you go through uh, that priesthood. And. Uh, when you go to Hebrews 10, the perfection, let me read that real quick. In John chapter 17. It tells you that certain men have eternal life and eternal life is knowing God. So this is something that has happened before you were born. You were predestined. That's why certain guys that are holding you to that old 2000 year old covenant that's been done away with 2000 years ago. They don't really understand the order of Melchizedek. They don't understand how the law of Moses was temporary. And so all you guys that are holding to that temporary law, you're temporary and you're of the flesh. This Melchizedek priesthood is for the ones that are of the spirit. That's why if you can understand this and comprehend this and believe on it, then you're of that priesthood. And all those that believe um, are justified through their belief. This ain't this this in this time. This is all about living through faith now it ain't about bloodlines. That's why when you really understand Matthew 8, when the Lord said uh, the children of the kingdom it will be thrust out and people will be coming from east to west, you really got to understand that. The majority of our people did not believe on the Lord when he came. That's why Paul said, hey, we, we talked to the Jews, but now we're going to turn to the Gentiles. And that whole narrative of teaching to the Gentiles, they were going outside of their nation because their nation didn't receive him. So you got to understand that, man. These guys are teaching this Israelite foreigner thing. Well, yeah, the, the Israelites were foreign. There were, there, were, there were Israelites scattered. But a whole big understanding of this thing or certain people were believing. That wasn't even of our people that were clinging to Paul and them. And this is another reason why they hated Paul teaching. They, they, the Jews, just like now, guys, even them thinking of heathens believing, bro, it drives guys crazy. This is a big stumbling block for a lot of you guys, too. And you have to understand this, man. So the order of Melchizedek was given. Yahushua was teaching the order of Melchizedek. He was teaching the new covenant. The new covenant has nothing to do with the old covenant. That's why the Lord said that Moses gave you not this manner that I gave you. Moses gave you not this bread. The Lord said that out of his mouth. And we're going to read a couple things. This is Hebrews 10 and 14. It says, for by one offering... He had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost is a witness to us after that he had said before. So for by one offering, he had perfected certain men in the first century. This is when the laws went into certain men's, uh, pri went to certain men's in inward parts. So you got to understand is the new covenant started 2000 years ago. You got guys that are set up that are set up to keep you in the old covenant all this time. But this is the end now. And now at the end, you have guys trying to keep you in the, in the old covenant still at the end. All you guys holding up people to the old covenant, no matter if you believe it or not. You're you will perish in these times because that old law does not deliver you. 
It does not perfect you. So you waiting on new bodies, you will never get no new bodies, not repenting to the new covenant. That means you didn't believe in the Lord. So Hebrews 10 and 14, it says, for by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that, he has said before, so the Holy Ghost that is on us and that is showing us these things that are revealing these things that we were what perfected forever. So that's why you got to do your homework on the first century and understanding the 70 and all the men that taught after the Lord died, that got martyred. They were teaching the doctrine of the Lord because they were perfected to know the Lord. So guys that are not perfected to know the Lord, they're going to hold you to Moses. So because by default, their spirit clings to the flesh. So this old new covenant, guys, like the brother said, I agree. Guys that are holding you to the old covenant and the new covenant, they're worse than guys in camps. Guys are of Satan. That's why we depart, guys. Because guys are in the flesh. Hebrews 10 and 16. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds. I will write them. So the Lord is writing. The Lord have wrote this understanding in our mind. He did that in the first century. And now in this time it's coming all back. We're learning who we are. So certain things are being brought back to us. Our understandings, our remembrance of the first century we, we we had to have taught in the first century for us to understand what we understand that's why the lord said when you come back into regeneration you'll be judging the 12 tribes this is part of judging the 12 tribes by understanding the order of melchizedek which has nothing to do with moses the transfiguration moses and elijah's they faded away They say, hey, you want me to make a tabernacle for, for Moses and Elijah's in three three tabernacles? No, he said, hey, no, don't make a, a tabernacle for none of them. Just, just honor what my son says. Honor me. And so what we have in this last time, guys are really trying to hold you in that old covenant. This is all of Satan because this is Satan's world. But once the the ones that are of God that have been perfected in the first century realize it and they come back and they understand then we can get out of here so all you guys teaching the world and Moses and all these prophecies of the world you have no understanding of what the order of Melchizedek is really about certain men will perfect it within themselves already uh, Romans 8 it talks about being predestined to have the image of God that goes into the order of Melchizedek, the, the image of his son. Yahushai came in the order of the priest of Melchizedek with what? Bread and wine. That's why he said Moses didn't give you this bread. Heavy, bro. So we, when we say heavy, it's spiritually heavy. It ain't got nothing to do with Moses. All you guys that are holding to Moses, you're of the world at this point. 2,000 years men have been holding you to that old covenant. 2,000 men, years, man, been teaching false doctrine. Guys are still trying to hold you to that old covenant, which was imperfect. That's why John chapter 17, let me read this real quick. John chapter 17 and three, and this is eternal life. And this is eternal life that they might know the only true power. And Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom thou has sent. And this is eternal life that you know God. So certain men were perfected to know God already in their mind. That's that's the perfection. To completely understand God. So by you understanding God, you, you'll get certain visions and certain things to come back to you. You will know certain knowledge. You'll be able to break down certain things. You'll be able to understand things that other guys just can't. For other guys, this is a stumbling block. For other guys, they can't understand. To us, it's easy. The mystery of the Gentiles is easy. Yeah, certain, certain Gentiles are going to believe. What's hard about that? For a lot of you guys, you just can't get it. We're not saying that they're going to be on our level or they're going to be, um, they're going to 
be blessed as we're blessed. I, we've never said that. We're just saying that certain of them are going to believe and they're justified by their belief. Because this is a, um, so like it, this is a uh, spiritual thing. The fruits of the spirit are, are love, faith, joy, long suffering. These are the heavier matters of the law. Which when guys tell you everybody's going in slavery, then they're not using the, the heavier matters of the law because they don't have them. So they can't show any faith or no love because it's something they don't have. I can't get on these videos and explain love to you if you don't have it in you. I can't explain in these videos. You know, we can help you. But if you really don't have faith and belief in you, I, this these videos can't do nothing for you unless you're of the seed of faith. Unless you're just. Unless you were predestined. That's why this new covenant is an exclusive covenant for those that knew God in the first century. John 17 and 3. And this is eternal life that they might know the only true power and the anointed who God has sent. So John chapter 17, it comes out way more harder. So this word, no, no, knowing God goes into eternal life. Eternal life goes into being perfected in the first century. The first century, um, you had the 70 and the 12 and all the ones that were martyred. Why? For teaching this doctrine. That's why them demons were tormented when the Lord came on the scene. They say, hey, you come to trouble us before our time? Because Satan understands that he has a time limit. And so that wasn't his time to be up back in them times. The Lord just came to start the new covenant, which when he started the new covenant, it broke the, the temple in two. It worked. Certain, it got certain men out of the grave. It broke the church. And then on top of that, certain of us were perfected. So guys denying the Lord, they don't understand everything he did because he didn't perfect them to know God. That's what the perfection is. It ain't about new bodies. Guys that are carnal, this ain't for them. And at this time, we could bring these things out, certain things out, because guys are carnal. They they will not understand this anyway. For the majority of our people, they're going to perish. Guys are eternally damned in this time. So on top of that, we're teaching you how to see guys that's damned. So you could come away from their ass. John 17 and 3, and this is eternal life, that they might know thee, the only true power. Yahweh Mashiach, whom thou has sent. So the Lord being glorified, and only certain men knew him in that time. Let's go into this word um, no in John 17 and 3. So this is part of the, the ministry of Melchizedek. It's the whole ministry of the new covenant. This is the whole ministry that's based that Yahweh Shai ministry is based of, that the new covenant is based on, 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 on Melchizedek. And Melchizedek has nothing to do with uh, Moses. So guys call themselves Melchizedek, trying to add Moses into it. You're, you're totally fucking confused. That's why we're set up as a defense of the gospel. The real gospel is in the new covenant, bro. <laughs> it's not nowhere else. The old covenant was imperfect. So why did the Lord come and bring another one? The Lord didn't come and tell you to hold you to one. The Lord was breaking the Sabbath. They wanted to kill the Lord because he broke the Sabbath. He was breaking that old law. So John 17 and 3, I want to go into this word, no. Because when you know somebody, you're intimate with them. And that's what the bride of Yahweh Shai is going to be intimate with Yahweh Shai in his understanding. You're going to be really intimate. You're going to understand what happened in the first century. You're going to understand uh, why did they kill all those men in the first century? Because they were teaching the old covenant? Hell no. They killed the Lord because he brought a new doctrine under the order of Melchizedek way back then. Now you see how, now you see how effective and how um, powerful the, 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 the doctrine of the new covenant was back in them times because they all the men had to be martyred. But keep in mind, they were supposed to uh, lose their life just like the Lord did. They were supposed to give their body up as a sacrifice. 
They were supposed to uh, die in them times. Because the Lord said, you will drink of the same cup. So guys hate us the same way they did in the old, in the first century. That's why guys, are, they, they don't have nothing to do with the new covenant. It's really not them. It's their spirit that don't have nothing to do with the new covenant. So that's why they add Moses in it or they tell you that they're not in the covenant or it's not here yet. Because their spirit don't have nothing to do with the order of Melchizedek. You could teach about Melchizedek, but basically your spirit don't have nothing to do with it. You're holding men to Moses. Moses, that's, that was a carnal commandment. The order of Melchizedek was after a spiritual commandment. The Shai covenant is a spiritual covenant. The old covenant was based on spiritual shit. I mean, spiritual things. The old covenant was based on carnal commandments. It, it did not perfect you from the inside. The perfection came in the first century for certain men. And I'm going to go into that word resurrection. Because certain men were resurrected in that time with the Lord. And then in this last day, the Lord said the second death won't have no power over you. So the second death having power over you um, in this time, that means that you don't have the understanding of the new covenant. All right. That's the second death having power over you. You're not understanding the new covenant and you're holding to Moses. Heavy, bro. So this word no in John 17 and 3 is real heavy. Strong's G, 1097. Gnosko. Gnosko. Gnosko, that word uh, no is to, to learn to know, come to know. Get a knowledge of, perceive, feel, to become known, to know, understand, perceive. So all the men in the first century that were with the Lord, they knew the Lord. They understood him. The Lord said in uh, 1 Corinthians, I think it's 11, 2 Corinthians 11, I think, or 15. 2 Corinthians 15 or 1 Corinthians 15, the Lord came back and he was, he he was revealed himself to like 500 people. So not everybody knows the Lord in this time. It says uh, to understand, to know sexual intercourse between a man and a woman, sexual intercourse between a man and a, and a woman. So the equivalent of you knowing God is you actually the equivalent of a man or a woman having sex. So you intimately know the Lord. That's why. Certain brothers have been shown certain things because they're intimate with the Lord in this time. We're intimate with the Lord. So a lot of guys in this time, they're showing by their doctrine that they don't know the Lord or his doctrine. If you're adding Moses in the new covenant, you don't you are not intimate with the Lord. I don't care. I don't care how many lessons you think you can do. They're all carnal because you don't understand the difference between the two covenants. So we have Satan have came into the new covenant and put a spirit on certain guys to make them try to think that you are holding the two covenants. The order of Melchizedek, the Lord didn't come under the order, order of Aaron. He didn't. He, and he broke the Sabbath in John 5. He said he was the Lord of the Sabbath and they wanted to stone him. So knowing the Lord is understanding that you were perfected in the first century. That you were part of the 70. This is the only way that we could actually understand this. So now that we got that underway, that, that perfection goes into completed. Matter of fact, let's just go back to this real quick. I got a couple things I want to go, go into. Hopefully I can get through them. If I don't, I just add it to another lesson. But this is un this is uh this understanding. Is um, manifold. So it's, it's always more and more and more that we can go into and break down. And then it's crazy because guys be like, oh, we're singing a new song. No, that, that shit you guys in the camp, that is not the new song. That is some twisted up uh, doctrine of the flesh. All you guys in the camps, that ain't the new song. Death and famine and Esau, that ain't the new song. 
What what the fuck that what's the the new song of death and destruction and slavery? That's not the new song, man. And um teaching men fucking the microchip all fucking day. That shit's carnal. All those things are carnal. That all those all those topics are carnal topics. I go to like certain guys' videos, I skip through them. And then fucking every fucking video, every fucking video. Like through the whole video, their the their whole video is going into something carnal of the world. It's like every part you skip to is going through some carnal. It's crazy. They are they're always going into some carnal of the world. Famine and death and World War Three and the Lord said don't be troubled of those things. Guys are pushing fear on the street because they don't have no fucking faith. So these these camps are death camps. Remember, uh, uh, Apostle Gabar, he did that sit down going back years ago. They was at a concert. They was at a concentration. He, he was at a concentration camp. How the fuck you get close to a concentration camp? This was years ago. So what they were telling you, Cole, Cole was telling you that these these fucking camps they got you guys in. They're death camps. They're concentration camps holding you to that old law of death. Sin and death. That was the old covenant. Heavy, man. I know y'all remember that shit when they when he did, he was doing those walking talks by the fucking concentration camps. You probably won't find them videos nowhere now, though. It's heavy, man. So this word perfected. Strong's G, 5048. Tilaio. It says to make perfect and complete. So what the Lord did is give you a, a complete understanding of God so you can know the Lord intimately. And so all the men that got martyred, they knew the Lord. They were doing miracles. They were doing certain things to a certain points. Men were calling them sorcerers. I think they was calling Paul a sorcerer, too, because all the demons were subject unto these men. They were casting demons out of men. Heavy, man. This is exactly what we're doing. By us being able to teach this new covenant correctly, we're casting demons out of men. And certain guys just got Satan on them. So we're up against so much opposition, man, and so much hate. So that word perfect to make complete, to carry through completely, to accomplish, finish, bring to an end, complete, perfect. You have the complete understanding of God. And it says add to is yet wanting in order to render a thing full to be found perfect to bring to an end proposal goal proposed to accomplish to bring to close or fulfillment by event of prophecies of the scriptures finished consecrate so son of certain of us were consecrated unto the lord back in the first century so for two thousand years men have been holding you to the old law and uh, I've seen this one video. This guy say that they're under the curses. Yeah, you guys in these camps are under the curses. You are. You're carnal. You have nothing to do with understanding God or the understanding the order of Melchizedek, which certain men were predestined already. So certain men were consecrated to God. Let's go to that real quick in Romans 8. So we, we give you the whole understanding over here. We don't play around with this at all. And a lot of things we're teaching over here is a stumbling block for a lot of you guys, man. I hope and, you know, like, I you know, I hope you brothers can, uh, I pray you, some brothers can understand what we're saying because you're, you're, you're either set up for eternal damnation in hell in this time or you're set up for eternal life. That's why two parts of our people were cut off. So the majority of our people, they're not going to understand this priesthood because it's not in them. Because they weren't perfected to understand God, to know God. So Romans 8 and 29. For whom he did for new, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the first among among brethren. So certain men were predestined to be conformed to the understanding of of the new covenant which is the order of melchizedek so certain men in the first century were perfected they were already predestined 
That's why the teaching of the new covenant was hated on a heavy level uh, back in them times. It says, moreover, whom he did predestinate, certain men will conform to the image of his son. Let's go into this word image real quick. And then we're going to get on with this. We'll keep going. That word image. Strong's G 1504. Icon. Icon. So basically, if you wasn't predestined to understand God and to be of his covenant, to be the image of his son, you're not going to understand the new covenant. You're not going to believe in it. So all you guys that, that are teaching the old law of Moses, you're holding our people to a law that's been uh, done away with since the first, the sec, the first century, 2000 years. And you don't understand what you're teaching. Matter of fact, before I read this word image, let's read that in uh, Galatians. I think the brother read that in Galatians two. You make the, the, the law, Yahweh Shai, none and void when you hold men to Moses. Galatians two. In 20, it says, I am crucified with the anointed. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but the anointed liveth in me. So the Lord said, I and you and you and me. That's why we're not just servants, we're friends because we have the Lord is a part of us. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the son of power who loved me and gave himself for me. So the Lord didn't die for everybody. How do you know, how do you know that? Because the majority of guys, they're teaching the old covenant with no understanding of the order of Melchizedek. False prophets set out there. Verse 21, I do not frustrate the grace of God for if, if righteousness come by the law, then the anointed is died, dead in vain. For if the righteousness come by the law, then the anointed is dead in vain. Guys, talking about this law, this law, keep this law. They don't understand that law is done away with. That's why the Lord came. If, if the law was so perfect, why the Lord came? And guys are <clears throat> guys are break that down all wrong because they don't have no understanding, man. The majority of guys teaching the Bible, even certain guys in the New Covenant, they're teaching it without understanding because a lot of guys have not been perfected. You're perfected to be a, a devil. <laughs> you got the the spirit of a perfect demon on you. That's what you're perfected in. As far as understanding the order of Melchizedek, you don't have no understanding of this. This is this is over your head. That's why we see through you guys. Because this new covenant is this this order is going over a lot of you guys. And it makes no sense to speak about it when you don't really even have the full understanding of knowing God. So Paul said. I do not frustrate the grace of God for if the righteousness come by the law. Then the anointing is dead in vain. Look at that heavy, bro. Guys, don't be reading these scriptures and they're holding you to the old covenant. And they're saying they're still under the curses. Yeah, you're saying out of your mouth, you're still under curses. This is how you keep guys in, in the sleep. And then certain guys would be like, oh, we, the Lord released us from the curse of the law. No, he he freed us from the whole law. You guys are still under that shit. You're still under the curse. Right. We, we see how you guys teach and you don't have no faith. You're cursed. That's why the Lord said, if a man bring out this doctrine, don't let him in your house. <laughs> it's crazy. Galatians 5 and uh, 4 for the anointed. It's become a no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. So a lot of guys are not under any grace right now. All right. There's no there's no grace, period. The grace is for the ones that are of the of the election that were perfected. There's no grace for everybody right now. If, if guys were under the favor of God, they have the, the understanding of the of the, the new covenant. 
And they understand that we're under the whole new priesthood and it started back in the first century. They will understand that and they'll leave Moses alone. Grace goes in the favor, the favor of God. Everybody don't have the favor of God on them right now. So everybody is not, grace ain't no commodity. This grace and faith is uh, like the Lord said, it's, it's like a pearl. It's like a treasure hidden in the field. Once a man findeth, he sell everything he had for that one field. So grace and faith is something that ain't out there like that right now. So this word image in Roman 8 and 29. Strong's G, 1504, icon, icon. So the word image goes into uh, likeness, figure, figure of heavenly things. Use more likeness. Renew men to God. Renew men to God. The image of the Son of God into which the true Christians are transformed. Likeness, likeness. Not only to the heavenly body, but the most holy and blessed state of mind, which the anointed possesses, the image of one. That's why the Lord says in Second Corinthians, we have, Paul says, we have the mind of God. Because we understand the prophecies, the certain visions. And I'm going to tell you this, man, Moses, he honors, he, uh, he honor he honors Paul in the heavens. When Paul went to the, uh. When Paul died and went to heaven, man, I mean, you're going to get into that. But when he went to the those visions, those men honored Paul in the heaven for what he did. Just like right now, us few brothers, us few brothers that really had an understanding that's honoring Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is looking down on us, man, smiling, bro. That's why the Lord said, if you deny me here, you're being denied in heaven. We're not denying the Lord. We're teaching his, his covenant. We're breaking down something that ain't never been broken down that's what we're doing and with the help of all you brothers that really understand it you're helping breaking down the lord something that guys ain't never did guys been breaking down the lord halfway so halfway don't get you there if somebody take you on a trip across america and they drop your ass off in uh uh, for, if they say they're taking you from New York to California and they drop your ass off in Nebraska, they didn't get you all the way there. Just like guys, they're giving you these half ass, halfway ass understandings and halfway breakdowns and shit. Because guys don't have it. They have not been perfected. That's why we're pushing Melchizedek because we're under that order. We were perfected in the first century to understand this. It says the image of one, one in whom the likeness, if any, is seen, applied to a man on account of his power of command to the anointed on account of his divine nature, uh, absolute moral excellence. So we're in the likeness of the Lord. These men showed that in the first century. Do your homework on the men in the first century. That's what you have to do. You have to study, man. A lot of you guys don't read or none of that. Trying to add Moses in it. No one, so that shows you have no understanding of what this covenant is about. And you may come over here and get understanding from us. But by us giving you the understanding and you still hold to Moses, that shows that you wasn't perfected. A lot of you guys are teaching in hate. You're, you haven't been perfected. You're carnal, man. And that's why the Lord too... You don't find nowhere in the new covenant, the men of the new covenant were teaching you to have multiple wives. Why? Because you're married to God. So you're not really supposed to have multiple wives in the new covenant. Because really you're supposed to be folk, you, you're married to God. And you need your whole mind of forgiving, to be given unto God. That's why we understand a lot of you guys pushing multiple wives and wives and all that, all that bullshit. You're carnal, man. You're carnal and you don't have the understanding of the new covenant. Certain things we could teach. We could teach certain things over here because we know certain of you ain't going to get it. Because you're carnal. It says to an account of his divine nature and absolute moral excellence. So we're in the likeness of, of our power. We have the Lord's mind, his understanding. 
It's heavy, man. So we're in the image of God, bro. First Corinthians 15 and 49. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Woo. That's why the Lord told that male factor that uh, on the right that he'd be with him in paradise. A lot of you guys are, are like that guy on the on the on the other side. You don't believe in the covenants here. You need new bodies. So a lot of you guys are damn teaching. And it's crazy, you got guys there try to teach about Melchizedek, but hold your ass to Moses. Guys are trying to get you double minded like they ass. Second Corinthians uh, 4 and 4. And whom the God of this world blinded the minds of them which believeth not. Right? So you don't even believe in the new covenant, so you're blinded. You see, so this understanding is over, guys. Least the light of the glorious gospel, who is the image of power, should shine unto them. So the Lord have blinded your eyes with this world. That's why you're not supposed to be a part of groups in a part of the world. That shit blinds you from really understanding the order of Melchizedek. All you guys that are teaching and breaking the scriptures down wrong. A lot of you guys are damned. And you're blaspheming, too. Let's read this. Colossians 3 and 10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. So we're renewed in the knowledge. So meaning like certain things are going to be revealed to us. That's not going to be revealed to everybody. We're going to know certain things. We're going to see certain things. Certain things are going to be revealed to us. That's not going to be revealed to everybody else. So let's go to, what was that, John 5? That's why the Lord in, um, what's that, John 11, after a while, he couldn't teach no, no more openly because men wanted to kill him for what he was teaching. That's why we understand a lot of you guys that like to be seen out on the highways in them old covenant garments. You do not know what the fuck is going on. And so for guys to be like, they be like, you know, Esau is going to, and we might have to go out and be martyrs for the truth. No, the, Esau don't care about that shit you guys are teaching out there. You're teaching men Moses, man. <laughs> that, that covenant been been disannulled since the first century. That's why we say a lot of you guys don't study. You don't have a spiritual understanding because you're carnal. So us having a spiritual mind trying to teach to you carnal guys is not going to work. This is only for men that are spiritual. A lot of you think you're spiritual, but ultimately you're carnal. The Lord came on the scene. He was breaking the uh, old covenant. He broke the Sabbath by healing on it. But guys are trying to put him to death because he was healing on the Sabbath. It's crazy, man. That's why the Lord had to do it. That's why the law was done away with. Because all you carnal guys were gung-ho for the law and the Lord was coming bringing mercy. The Lord said, I'd rather have mercy than sacrifice. But a lot of you guys don't have mercy written into you. That's why you can't understand the order of Melchizedek. Because you're carnal. You don't have no mercy or no love. If it, if it was left up to you guys' logic, everybody would die and go into slavery. Even your goddamn self. Because what you're teaching is holding men to Moses. You ain't going to be delivered holding to Moses. That means you don't have faith in the Lord. You make your house shy with none effect. So by that logic, a lot of you guys weren't perfected in the first century because you don't understand the order of Melchizedek. You don't understand your house shy why he died for you, you was not redeemed. We got a lot of guys trying to steal you brother's crowns, man. But we will not let that happen. A lot of these guys are trying to steal your crown. They're trying to act like they're you. They're trying to say they're the elect holding you to Moses. That shit crazy. Moses even honors Paul. 
Don't let that go over your head. <laughs> Moses even honors your how shot. Heavy man. John 5 and 18. Therefore, the Jews sought more to kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making him himself equal with God. So we understand you guys don't, don't understand the scriptures at all. You are you are carnal men that are butchering a spiritual book. You're butchering the spiritual book because you're carnal. You don't have the capacity to actually think. It's crazy, bro. A lot of you just need to put the Bible down, man. Put the Bible down, dude. <laughs> For real. I laugh because, you know, it's, it's, it's joy we have in us because a lot of you guys that are evil, you just, you will, you, this was not meant for you to get. If you have an evil heart, it's not meant for you. So that's what we're dealing with at this time. We're dealing with certain men that, that are evil, that are teaching the Bible and what they're doing, they're butchering the scriptures into their own destruction. So they say the Lord was making himself equal with God. John 5 and 19. Then answer you how I was trying to say unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto you that the son of man can do nothing of himself, but he seeth that what he seeth the father do for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. So that's why the Lord said if, if you listen to the son, you please the father, bro. Not Moses. That's, that just proves that a lot of guys, you're not spiritual teaching the Bible. You're just carnal out on the street teaching carnal shit. All, every guy, all thing guys' doctrine is of the world and Joe Biden and the microchip and this and famine. All this carnal shit. Guys are not spiritual on the street out there. And Esau don't care that you're out there. Because you're keeping people confused. You're not helping nobody. You're not even helping yourself teaching that shit. And, uh, and through the spirit, because you're teaching the old law and the old administration, you're holding men to that. A lot of you guys, you don't look good physically. Teaching death and that old law has an effect on your appearance, man. I hope you guys, you, I don't know if you guys know that or not. It's crazy, man. Oh, man. John 5 and 20. I want to get to this point real quick. It says, For the Father loveth the Son and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. So if the Lord, if the Lord is dealing with you, he's gonna show you a lot of things, man. Just like he showed the Son. That's why the Son said, You're no longer serving your friends. So if you're friends of, of the Lord, the Lord's gonna show you things. For the father raiseth up the dead and quickens them, even so the son quickeneth whom he will. For the father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the son. All judgment unto the son. That's why all power has been given unto the Lord. That's why the Lord said, uh, that's why Satan is a subject to him. That's why the spirits are subject unto Yahweh. Guys are being tormented. So when you know somebody, like you go into that, like we went into that word, no, you know somebody intimately. That that so only certain guys are married to the Lord. And so now when you go back to this thing being a plague on guys, like Revelation 21, the bride of Yahweh, the last seven plagues, this is a plague unto guys. That word plague goes into uh below. It goes into um let, let, let me get it. It goes into a, a, a strike. This this has men at ease. The understanding and the teaching of the new covenant. It says, um, John 5 and 23, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. All men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. You see that? Ain't no honoring elders. Is honoring Yahweh Shai. Ain't no honoring the old covenant. You have to honor the new covenant. But only certain men that were perfected, that have God in them, are going to honor Yahweh Shai. That's it. 
So only certain men are under the order of Melchizedek right now. Because those certain men are going to have the understanding. It says, he that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father, which he hath sent. So guys don't are not in the spirit at all. They are not in spirit in this time. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life. It shall not pass unto condemnation, but it's passed from death unto life. You see that? So by just believing in the new covenant and the Lord, you're passed unto eternal life because you've been perfected to understand that. A lot of guys have not been perfected to really understand this covenant. All right. So you're blessed if you can understand this. So, you know what? I want to go into this word quick enough in John uh, 5 and 21. That word quick enough in John 5 and 21. Strong's G 2227. Zoa poi Zoa poi Right. It says to produce alive, beget or bear, having young, having living young, to cause to live, to make alive, give life. By spiritual power to arise and evacuate by spiritual power. So if you're holding to Moses, you don't have no spiritual power because you don't believe the power is in belief. All right. The spiritual power is in your belief. So if you don't have any faith, you don't have no spiritual power. If you don't have any judgment, you don't have any spiritual power. All right. If you don't have no discernment, you don't have no spiritual power. Spiritual power is in your belief. So this goes along with guys that were perfected in the first century. They're going to have spiritual power. They're going to they're going to be what perfected and understanding God. Do you understand that? So understanding God. And to know God, certain men already have spiritual power to be in the, on the image. They just have to figure out who they were. It says to restore life, to give an increase of life. So guys are not in the spirit holding the Moses. That's heavy, bro. That's why you got to let Moses totally go and put the Lord over Moses. But certain guys can't do that because they're not they're not of the order of Melchizedek. They're not of the order of uh, the new covenant. They're under the order of Aaron. It says to give life, increase life, thus physical life of the spirit. Quickening as the respects the spirit endowed with new and greater powers of life. Endowed with new and greater powers of life. A metaphor of seeds quickened unto life, i.e. germinating, springing up and growing. So the parable of Matthew. Um, the parable of Matthew. Um. 13, when the Lord talks about sowing seeds, some fell on the wayside, some fell on stony ground. So certain brothers are able to have the seed of Yahweh Shai plant in them and then they can grow in the spirit. A lot of guys are not growing in the spirit. They're against the spirit. A lot of guys are teaching in hate. So the order of Melchizedek, uh, let's read this. I'm going to get out of here too. I'm going to get out of here. Well, let me, let's read this real quick. And um, what's this, John? So the order of Melchizedek, the Lord. Um, they they had bread and wine. Abraham and Melchizedek. Melchizedek gave Abraham bread and wine. So we're under the order of Melchizedek. The rest of you guys are under the order of Aaron. And if you're adding Moses in the order of uh, if you're trying to add Moses in the new covenant, then you're of the old by default. Because that means you don't have faith in the Lord. John 6 and 32. When you house I said unto him, verily, verily, I said unto you, Moses gave you not 
Matter of fact, let's read up at 31. John 6 and 31. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it was written and gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh Shai saith unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. You see that? So Yahweh Shai is the true bread. Moses ain't got that bread. So you got to leave Moses out of this. <laughs> you have to. And just have faith in the Lord. You know, we say you can go back to them stories and you can go back and read over them laws if you want to. But a righteous man, though those laws in the old covenant, they was not meant for a righteous man. You see what I'm saying? This is what you got to understand, too. Those laws were not meant for men that were righteous. They were meant for men that were lawless. So for all you guys that are holding to the laws of Moses, that's. That's that's what's for you. This spiritual law is not for you because you can't comprehend the spiritual law. You're against the spiritual law, just like you were in the first century. So let's go into first Corinthians 11. I think this is and I'm going to get out of here, man. A lot of you guys are unworthy to be teaching the new covenant. You're unworthy to be teaching the new covenant because you're not spiritual. That's the thing. If you're spiritual, you're going to see guys that are not really spiritual. You're going to see their ass. And they can fake like they're spiritual all day. <laughs> Trying to get man to hold to Moses. That's not spiritual. It's crazy, bro. It is crazy, man. All right, so let's go on to this real quick. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11. And 23 it says for i have received of the lord that which also i deliver unto you that the lord yahushua mashiach the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and he had given thanks and break it and said take it eat this is my body this is my body so the bread and wine is going back to melchizedek and this is what we base our new covenant on just bread and wine. We're not, we don't have to sacrifice anything. Yahweh Shai was a sacrifice. So by you eating that bread and wine, then you are taking, uh, you're taking partaking on the Lord's body. So this covenant ain't for all everybody. This is for certain ones that are spiritual, that have faith, mercy, and discernment. That is part. Those are the fruits of the spirit. You could read more in Galatians. Joy. We have a joy doing this. I did a lesson uh, before this. And that, that lesson was like an hour and a half. And I didn't record it. You see? And uh, I, just, I just sat here until I fucking was able to do it all. <laughs> but we have a joy and a love for this. We want certain of you brothers to make it, man. We do this. There's certain guys in the camps. We want to we want to help brothers come out of camps, man. There's certain brothers in the camps that we had love for. That's why we do this. And it's been working, man, because certain guys are realizing who they actually are. First uh, Corinthians 11 and 24. And it says, and he gave thanks and he broke it and said, take it, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he took the cup and he had sopped, saying, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For often if you, as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily. So they were drinking bread and wine. It wasn't no lamb they were eating there. And this is what we hold to this day still. And you brothers, because this is the order of Melchizedek. The order of Melchizedek has nothing to do with meat. Yahweh was the meat, which was represented in the bread. So this is the order of Melchizedek. Going back to the first order before the law. That's why a lot of you guys that are not others of this new order 
and you weren't perfected, you're going to perish. This is it. This is the last day. This is the word that is judging a lot of you guys in the last day, and a lot of you can't understand it. It says, Wherefore, you shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily. You shall be guilty of the blood of the body of the Lord. And a lot of you guys are showing that you're unworthy. So you're guilty of the blood. Because it's either you are for the Lord or you are against him. That's what the Lord said. you either with me or against me. There's no fucking in between. That's heavy. you either with him or you're against him. You're not with him holding Moses. You're in the middle then. And certain guys ain't even with him yet till they get new bodies. You see that? So whosoever eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the blood of the body and the blood of the Lord. Because you had something to do with killing the Lord. So if you don't agree with the Lord, you had something to do with killing him. Either, either you hated him in your heart or either you spit it on him or you had something to do with him getting put on the cross, him and the 70 and the 12. You had something to do with it. It's crazy, man. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he so eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth to drink damnation to himself, not discern the Lord's body. Right. And so we're in a time where a lot of guys are going to suffer eternal damnation. They're going to perish. And we're in a time where certain of us are receiving, is receiving eternal life because we knew the Lord. So we are under the order of Melchizedek, us few. And if you can get this through the spirit, and understanding you're of the foe and you're under the order of Melchizedek by the spirit. You were born from the first century. Men were perfected. So guys have been holding you away from that for 2000 years. And now we're at the end of it now. But with that, man, let me get out of here. I speak with you brothers on the next one and will not stop. Repent to the new covenant. This is the order of Melchizedek. This is the new song. Not that false doctrine shit guys are teaching in the camp. The new song is the song of the spirit. That's why Paul said this is of the spirit and not of the letter. And with that, a hey, shalom. Thank you.